Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. Oh, you're offering the camera, sweet. They make hissing noise every now and again. I really, really don't like them. Just come to Canterbury and look what I found on the train. On the train. Morning, go to planet Earth. I'm feeling a bit low. <laughs> it's probably a bad time to say that. <laughs> I feel like the past couple of weeks have not been the usual standard for me. And I feel a bit pressured. Which it shouldn't be because I'm not pressured to do anything. I'm just a bit low from depression, so feeling a bit different today. And I feel like it's it's not going to be one of those days that um, happens to be really sad or really down, because I don't want that. However, it's very hard not to control it. Um, and there's so much on my mind right now. And basically, I wanted to talk about this because if I don't talk about this on camera for Vlogmas, then there's literally going to be no footage for me to upload. And I feel like anxiety and depression is not a talked about issue because it's not well spoken about. And I feel like I get it more because of being deaf. And I feel like I can't keep up with conversations. I can't keep up with the pace of what people are talking about or doing and I don't like physical change. So if someone says to me, right, tomorrow we're gonna do something, and then on tomorrow it gets canceled like that. I mean, for everyone, it's kind of like a whole thing of like, oh, that's really annoying. I had plans to do something today. But for me, it's like a physical barrier that I'm like, well, that's ruined it. I feel like it's harder for me to keep up with so much because it takes longer for me to process and it takes longer for me to rethink things or or listen and it's so hard because it's it's something that's quite misjudged and it's something that people think oh you can catch up you can still hear so you should be able to like listen to a conversation and it's harder and harder as I get older it's because of language change English the English language is changing like 24 7 one thing one thing means another basically and it's really hard to keep up with conversations and it's annoying and I don't like it when people will say one thing and it means completely different or they'll talk to someone and just assume I'm listening because it it frustrates me like I'm was I supposed to be listening to half of your conversation when it didn't involve me in it not really so that's why I'm doing something different now and I'm not trying to diss people off I'm just trying to explain my frustration because it's hard it's hard to cope with some machine controlling your ear levels like it sounds weird enough it's weird with one in your ear and because it's become a daily routine of I get up, I eat, I put my hearing aids in and then I do my stuff and then take them out before I go to bed. It's become that constant routine of just doing my thing and it is it is what makes me who I am. I mean, hello, these are like the 
glittery, most pinky here and age you've ever seen. It's just not right. Like, as you get older, they're not something that's cool. Like, I can wear a pair of glasses and they change my appearance completely, but I don't need them. Or I can put on some makeup and it completely changes my appearance, but no child or teenager or adult can wear that here and aid and think, that looks cool. Because if you do, you've got a completely different mindset to who I've, who I've been for the past, like, 12 years. And it's really hard. But yeah, I mean, you can wear something that doesn't belong to you or you don't need, but can make you look completely different. And a lot of people will feel the same as I do if you are deaf or if you are going through some hard times. You will know it's so hard to keep up with the boundaries of like wearing your hearing aids or wearing your glasses or taking tablets. It's it's difficult after a while and I feel like people don't take it into notice as much but I can't blame them because it's something that doesn't affect them so why should they be thinking about it? It's just I'm getting older now and it's getting so much harder to control my feelings and my barriers it's hard not to shout at someone, it's hard not to freak out, it's hard not to get angry at a doctor just because they said what you didn't think they would say. And it's hard not to feel happy all the time. I mean, it's completely normal, but it's so difficult. And I am one of those people who is very, not judging, but I know what I want and I know what I must do to get that and to be able to get what I want I have to wear my hearing aids, I have to take my tablets, I have to put on my patch, I have to do multiple countless things that to someone else it wouldn't be a lot but to me it's my daily grind of doing what I do best and it gets boring after a while, it gets boring, it gets tough, it gets hard and for people around you not to take them to notice is not their problem. It's not their problem at all because they don't, it's not affecting them and it doesn't affect them in the way it affects you. So in multiple ways it is a good and bad thing but when you're getting older and you're having to eat, drink more or do more things and you don't want to then it's it's gonna get hard and it makes you really ill which is why i have a th sore throat right now and countless spot outbreaks on my face <laughs> due to stress oh dear my battery is dead now but yeah that was my little frustration chat <laughs> i'm sorry about this it's not what it should be I'm really sorry guys, this is happening all the time throughout this December, but I just need to get it out some way. On a positive hand though, it's snowing in December. Okay, so I've done some card making today and that eased the depression down a bit. It is later on, it is about 4 o'clock. Um, so I've decided to start wrapping some of my friends' presents. Purely because I'm seeing her tomorrow and I don't know when I'm going to see her next. So I thought, might as well make her a card and some presents. I'm going to sort of tell you in detail why I've collected this much rubbish. Basically, over the past two months, I've been collecting ribbon and wrapping paper and tissue paper and all sorts of weird junk. Purely because... I'm a bit obsessed with trying to make presents look really pretty. Not only that, if I needed anything, it would be there for me to use rather than buying some tissue paper or some ribbon um, at the very last minute. So that is why I've got a bucket load of junk. Um, and basically, it might have gotten a bit out of hand, but it's better to get out of hand than not to have it at all, if you know what I mean. Um, so that's what I'm doing. 
for like the next 10 20 minutes but it's it's a different assortment of things that might make a present look nice it might not who knows we'll just have to see So I finished wrapping and it went really well, uh, these are the presents for my friends. I decided to use little peg clips from Audi to label their names on the presents and I think I've done pretty well. I think they look pretty cool and I'm absolutely adoring this wrapping paper from Ikea. They do the best wrapping paper ever, like honestly gold foil for Christmas it's just amazing I have like scraps left so I've kept them a bit of a hoarder um the reason why I am actually still on the floor is because a couple of nights ago when my mum went out to dinner with her friends one of them gave people gifts I'm assuming uh, correct me if I'm wrong I didn't go um she gave some people some gifts and she gave my mum this Christmas set now if some of you have watched a review that I did a couple of months ago on some bath products and some soaps and stuff like that, you would know that this is by Natasha. So, my mum kindly insisted that I would vlog this just as like a quick sort of skim through of what what is in here. So, I don't know which one to start off with. I'm going to start off with this. So, we have some strawberry lip balm. <gasps> I'm not kidding, that smells like the body shop strawberry lip balm. I love that. Next one we have is a soap and it is cherry hemp soap. I'm assuming you just slide it out. Oh, that's clever. <gasps> no way. That smells like something from my childhood. Oh, that smells so nice. And there's baby hearts in there. I love that. Chocolate and coconut aloe soap. I'm assuming this is aloe vera. Oh my God. Bounty, bounty in a soap. Wow. I'm looking forward to this one. This is bubblegum hemp soap. Will it smell like bubblegum? Oh my god. That smells like bubblegum you would get in a party bag. Shut up. Oh my god. I want to keep that and burn it into a candle. Oh, now it's just got rid of my light. Cheers, door. Now, I'm excited for this. This is a Christmas pudding bath bomb. Now, 
if you didn't watch my vlog from a few days days ago you would know that i got a christmas pudding in a gift box now i am quite fond of my christmas puddings i don't oh god i can't pick that up that's really powdery i don't want to damage it so i'm looking forward to seeing what this smells like this is not for me wow hang on because literally it's like really really powdery that smells like rum and alcohol wow that is amazing and i'm starting to get the fruit in there as well that is so cool the the labels rubbed out natasha and i'm assuming these are salts so i'm <laughs> i'm telling the whole world that this could be bath salts when actually it could be something completely different so i apologize oh by the way this is british rose <laughs> i think we've got salt on my lip oh that's disgusting obviously not like saying that your product tastes disgusting that came out really wrong then that smells really familiar to me that smells like a perfume or like something from the body shop wow wow I want to know what that is like to me although it's supposed to smell a British oh English rose that could be why so that was a little insider of what's in my mother's gift box I've completely destroyed it due to the fact that the tape was everywhere so um I'll have to rewrap her it for Christmas so thank you Natasha for giving my mum that and letting me review it hopefully the bath is all going amazing colour or smell really good in the bath. I don't know what I'm saying. All I know is that I really want to use that bubblegum soap right now. I was thinking to myself, I always blame other people for making my room messy. And then I looked at my room and thought, I did this. <laughs> so in actual fact, I'm the one that makes it messy. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel a bit sad. <laughs> I made a huge mistake. Oh well. But it has come to the end of Vlogmas Day 11, and not much has happened today. But I promise to you, tomorrow is going to be a bit more exciting, a bit more fun, and it's definitely going to have some laughs somewhere <laughs> but for now please like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the morning night guys